It's time for us to join Joan Regan and Russ Conway. just about signs us both on, doesn't it, Joan? Both tunes in the top ten in May 1959. But here we are with Jeff Levin, the orchestra, and as we're at my place, I bags I go first, OK? All right. Be like that. What's it going to be, then? It's going to be almost like being in love. Take it away, Jeff. <laughs> That was a Tony Osborne arrangement conducted by Jeff Love. Now here's a Jeff Love arrangement featuring the strings of the BBC Radio Orchestra and the tune is Girl of My Dreams.
Now then, Joan, it's time for your first song, which I believe is to be Sending the Clowns. Tell me, how do you see the story here? Well, everyone has their own definition of a song, Russ. And I see it as a young girl in a circus that's had a great tragedy. This song seen through her mind's eye. Isn't it rich? Are we a pair? Me here at last on the ground And you in midair
song was Drifting and Dreaming with Jeff Love and the orchestra. And now I'm going to play one of my firm favourites. It's called The Folks Who Live on the Hill. The arrangement here was done actually by Brian Fay. And when I first recorded it, I knew immediately that Brian really had captured the heart and soul of Darby and Joan. That really was beautiful, Russ. Now listen here, Darby. It's <laughs> time for Joan, and I'm going to sing K Sarah. Why not? <laughs> Will I be handsome? 
the orchestra conducted by Jeff Love with the anniversary song. And now we're going to do our party piece, Russ, while Jeff Love and the orchestra take a break. More precious than gold We found a love like ours so pure to behold, we found a love like ours. I wanted your love, and when you came to me, it was plain to see that our dreams could be reality. Walked in the spring, if winter clouds the sky, we'll never grow old, though time goes by, for we know that our love is given by heaven above, there'll never
Love Like Ours. That was written for a show, wasn't it, Russ? What was it called again? The show itself was called Mr. Venus. Originally written, the story was written by Alan Melville. But I wrote the song in the music of the show with Norman Newell. There were quite a few recordings of that song also, but yours was the best one, dear. Ah, thank you. The orchestra are back on their seats again, and I do believe that they're ready to play Hello, Young Lovers. Joan, did you ever sit in the back row of a cinema watching William Holden in the film Picnic? Oh, yes, I say. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's a big favourite of mine. Incidentally, Russ, did you know that his real name is Billy Beadle? Billy what? Billy Beadle. What, B-E-A-D-L? That's right. The... Do you think Jeremy knows about this? <laughs> he wouldn't be so romantic with a name like that, would it? <laughs> I bet a lot of people didn't know that. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Not a lot of people knew that. I always used to sit in the back row, though. Usually on my own. But but I never forgot the theme tune which became known as Moonglow. And here it is.
Maestro Conway at the piano there with the theme from Picnic. And now here's a song I just absolutely love. Feelings. Feelings. Nothing more than feelings. Trying to forget my feelings of love. Teardrops running down on my face. Trying to forget my feelings of love.
Well, that was Jeff Love conducting the strings of the radio orchestra, leader Michael Tomalin, with Jeff's own arrangement of The Continental. Now, from an album I made some years ago called Russ Conway at the Theatre, here's another Tony Osborne arrangement of You've Done Something to My Heart, which came from the musical Lights Up, and it was written by Noel Gay. My original recording was in mono, that'll tell you how old I am, but here it is with Jeff conducting the orchestra, with yours truly at the piano. But this time it's in glorious stereo. was really nice for us. Thank you, Joe. Mm. What's this I see you're going to sing here? You Needed Me? Ah, yes. You know, this song has become to mean so much to me, Russ. Mm -hmm. And I intend to include it in a new LP, you know. Good for you. Mm -hmm. I cried a tear You wiped it dry my mind I sold my soul you bought it back for me and held me up and gave me dignity somehow you needed me you gave me On a pedestal So high that I could almost see you 
And I can't believe it's you I can't believe it's true I needed you And you were there And I'll never leave Why should I leave? I'd be a fool Cause I finally found someone Who really cares Oh, mm-hmm.
there we had Jeff Love in the orchestra playing Portrait of My Love, which was written mm -hmm. by Cyril Ornadell, and the lyric by Norman Newell, which in turn gave dear Matt Munro his very first number one record. Now then, here's what the world of radio has been waiting for. My latest composition, entitled A Long Time Ago. Oh, boy. was Russ and his composition of a long time ago with the strings of the radio orchestra conducted by Jeff Love, arranged by David Cullum. But now here's the orchestra with the trolley song.
There's the memory of Judy Garland, isn't it, Joan? Ah, what a performer. Mm. Hey, do you remember when she came around to see us at the Palladium? In 1960, that was. 1960, my God. She was with, uh, she had little Lisa. That's right, she did. Didn't she? Do you remember I was doing an impression of her in my act? I remember it well. petrified in case she came round and she didn't like it. But she loved it, Ah, didn't she? She She really did love it. That was lovely. Mm. Well, Joan, it's time for your last song. What's it going to be? Well, the only song that I know how to finish a show with, and that's May You Always. Beautiful, and why not? I've enjoyed it tremendously, and I know you have. Thanks for coming over to my place. Next time, we'll make it yours. How about that? OK, Russ. Right. Could you get this orchestra in your front room? You must be joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not at Buckingham Palace now, you know. No, we're not. Anyway, will you see me to my car? Of course. Shall we say cheerio to everybody, then? Cheerio. Cheerio, Joan. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> Party is over this time for Russ Conway and Joan Regan, who've been entertaining us.